Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, the Technam T2006A twin enters service with Italian Air Force. Augusta Westland AW189 Ice Protection is certified by EASA. Virgin Galactic spaceship flight testing is about to begin. Hello, I'm Christopher C. Odom. It's July 13th, 2016, and this is Airborne Unlimited. Technam has handed over three P-2016 aircraft, designated T-2006A, to the head of the Italian Air Force Flight Training Command at a delivery ceremony held at Technam's Capua Productions Facility. The three aircraft will now enter service at Latina Air Force Base, as part of Italian Air Force's new integrated training system, which includes the delivery of not only the aircraft, but also a flight simulator, a training package for pilots and technicians, and maintenance assistance for a contract period of three years and 3,600 flight hours in total. The Technam T-2006A fleet will be flying with military identification marks following approval for Italy's AER after validation by the European Aviation Safety Agency. The modification to the P-2006T design to ensure the aircraft is fit for the tough requirements of military service were certified by the Italian Ministry of Defense and the Defense Organization Military Approval. Augusta Westland has announced their AW189 helicopter is now fully compliant with the latest requirements of the oil and gas producers helicopter operations guidelines. This announcement comes in the wake of the European Aviation Safety Agency's certification of the aircraft's full ice protection system. The EASA certification comes after three years of flight trials in Northern Europe and North America during the winter months and includes electronically heated main and tail rotor blades, heated windscreens, and an ice detection system. The standard AW189 helicopter already includes an air engine intake heating system. The system is fully automatic once switched on by the pilot, allowing the pilot to concentrate on other flying activities. The system is now available as an option on the AW189 and follows certification of the Limited Ice Protection System in September 2015. The system allows flight within a known and defined envelope icing conditions, provided that the capability to descend into a known band of positive temperature is available throughout the intended route. After the break, flight testing of Spaceship Unity could begin next month. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Welcome back. If you'd like to be a supporter of the Airborne Unlimited, send an email to jim at aero-news.net. According to Virgin Galactic, the replacement suborbital spacecraft built by Scaled Composites for Virgin Galactic could begin flight testing as early as next month. However, powered flight of the spaceship dubbed Unity will likely not occur until sometime in 2017. Bloomberg reports that Virgin Galactic Vice President Jonathan Firth said, Ground testing is expected to be completed in August, at which time flight testing, while attached to another aircraft, will get underway. It's reported that Firth told Bloomberg that the company has set so many dates in the past that have not been met that we're being a bit more conservative this time. VSS Unity is very similar in design to Spaceship 2, which completed about 30 power test flights before going down in an accident on October 31, 2014. With some 2,000 Aerial TV programs webcast to cyberspace, sometimes it can be fun to look back and enjoy some of the places we've seen, the flyers we've met, and the planes we've flown. Here's a look back at one of our favorite Aerial TV classic episodes. We need to educate people who are flying for fun, as well as the commercial operators, about safe and responsible use. Because many of the people getting into this field are just getting in to fly for fun or not aviators. 
In this video, ANN CEO and Editor-in-Chief Jim Campbell reaches out to an organization known as AUVSI to learn more about the drone industry. Jim asked the right question to help us all be more informed. After these messages, the Predator C Avenger receives FAA Experimental Certificate. Redbird Flight Simulations is dedicated to revolutionizing flight training by designing, manufacturing, and delivering affordable and innovative flight training technologies. Each Redbird device is designed to enhance the training experience for pilots of all levels, from student to ATP. Redbird is quickly becoming the industry standard for flight training. Since Redbird introduced its revolutionary FMX in 2007, colleges, universities, and flight training operations around the world have integrated Redbird products into their curriculum. It's time to discover what Redbird can do for you. Join the migration. Concorde's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concorde's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concorde, the heart of your aircraft. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. The aviation industry is full of news and we're summarizing a few of those other great stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. The FAA has awarded an experimental certificate to General Atomics Aeronautical Systems for the Predator Sea Avenger remotely piloted aircraft system. Under this certification, it is allowed to be integrated into the U.S. National Airspace System. Boeing and Donghai Airlines have announced that the airline's intent to purchase 25 737 MAX 8s and five 7879 Dreamliners. The announcement was made at the 2016 Farnborough International Air Show and is valued at more than $4 billion at current list prices. The fifth mobile user objective system satellite, which successfully launched on June 24th, was projected to reach its orbit and enter its test location 22,000 miles above Hawaii by July 3rd. However, the satellite experienced an anomaly that required the transfer maneuver to be temporarily halted. Since 2014, Spirit Aero Systems has invested in upgrades to its historic plant 2 at its Wichita facilities to support growing demand for its products. Spirit builds 70% of the Boeing 737 structure in plant 2, including the entire fuselage. British test pilots from BAE Systems are performing the ultimate test drive of the Eurofighter Typhoon combat jet before delivering the aircraft to customers. Each Typhoon is pushed to the limits for up to 60 minutes as part of the flight acceptance testing. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Now, let's get back to the rest of the news. Sometimes you hear things at the big air shows, and such was the case at the Royal International Air Tattoo last week. Reuters reports that Air Force Lieutenant General Chris Bogdan said on the sidelines that the Air Force head of the F-35 program says that the Air Force and Lockheed Martin are close to finalizing two contracts for 160 Lightning II airplanes. Lockheed reportedly said Thursday that an agreement was expected to be reached soon for the 9th and 10th production contracts for the new airplane. The contracts would likely be valued between $14 and $15 billion. It's reported that the Lockheed F-35 program manager said that the price for the F-35A would fall to under $100 million per aircraft in the 10th low-rate production lot. It's also reported that another factor in the cost of the airplane is the recent drop in value of the British pound following Brexit. Some 15% of the components of the F-35 are built by UK firms. There was no speculation about when the official announcement, though, would be made. Well, that's our program for today. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is streamed daily Monday through Friday with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and do check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive real-time 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aerol-news.net. 
keep flying. We'll see you tomorrow.